Outbreak is a relative word. Ang isang modernong outbreak ay maaaring isang virus na pumatay sa ilang daang libo, tulad ng swine flu, o simpleng isang nahawa ang kargamento ng pagkain na nag-iwan ng maraming mga sakit. Gayunpaman, ang isang pagbabalik tanaw sa kasaysayan ay nagsisiwalat ng mga paglaganap na napakalawak na kamamatay na mahalagang binago nila ang takbo ng kasaysayan. Samahan niyo po akong balikan ang nakaraan na pinaka-deadliest outbreak sa kasaysayan ng buong mundo. The Black Death was a devastating global epidemic of bubonic plague that struck Europe and Asia in the mid-1300s. The plague arrived in Europe in October 1347, when 12 ships from the Black Sea docked at the Sicilian port of Messina. People gathered on the docks were met with a horrifying surprise. Most sailors aboard the ships were dead, and those still alive were gravely ill and covered in black boils that oozed blood and pus. Sicilian authorities hastily ordered the fleet of death ships out of the harbor, but it was too late. Over the next five years, the Black Death would kill more than 20 million people in Europe, almost one-third of the continent's population. The Black Death was the second pandemic of bubonic plague and the most devastating pandemic in world history. It was a descendant of the ancient plague that had afflicted Rome, from 541 to 549 CE, during the time of Emperor Justinian. The bubonic plague, caused by the bacterium Yersinia pestis, persisted for centuries in wild rodent colonies in Central Asia and, somewhere in the early 1300s, mutated into a form much more virulent to humans. At about the same time, it began to spread globally. It moved from Central Asia to China in the early 1200s and reached the Black Sea in the late 1340s. Hitting the Middle East and Europe between 1347 and 1351, the Black Death had aftershocks still felt into the early 1700s. Even before the death ships pulled into port at Messina, many Europeans had heard rumors about a great pestilence that was carving a deadly path across the trade routes of the Near and Far East. Indeed, in the early 1340s, the disease had struck China, India, Persia, Syria and Egypt. The plague is thought to have originated in Asia over 2,000 years ago and was likely spread by trading ships, though recent research has indicated the pathogen responsible for the Black Death may have existed in Europe as early as 3000 BC. Europeans were scarcely equipped for the horrible reality of the Black Death. In Men and Women Alike, the Italian poet Giovanni Boccaccio wrote, at the beginning of the malady, certain swellings, either on the groin or under the armpits, waxed to the bigness of a common apple, others to the size of an egg, some more and some less, and these the vulgar named plague boils. Blood and pus seeped out of these strange swellings, which were followed by a host of other unpleasant symptoms, fever, chills, vomiting, diarrhea, terrible aches and pains, and then, in short order, death. The bubonic plague attacks the lymphatic system, causing swelling in the lymph nodes. If untreated, the infection can spread to the blood or lungs. The Black Death was terrifyingly, indiscriminately contagious, the mere touching of the clothes, wrote Boccaccio, appeared to itself to communicate the malady to the toucher. The disease was also terrifyingly efficient. People who were perfectly healthy when they went to bed at night could be dead by morning. Physicians relied on crude and unsophisticated techniques such as bloodletting and boil lancing, practices that were dangerous as well as unsanitary, and superstitious practices such as burning aromatic herbs and bathing in rose water or vinegar. Meanwhile, in a panic, healthy people did all they could to avoid the sick. Doctors refused to see patients, priests refused to administer last rites, and shopkeepers closed their stores. Many people fled the cities for the countryside, but even there they could not escape the disease. 
it affected cows, sheep, goats, pigs and chickens as well as people. The plague never really ended and it returned with a vengeance years later. But officials in the Venetian-controlled port city of Ragusa were able to slow its spread by keeping arriving sailors in isolation until it was clear they were not carrying the disease, creating social distancing that relied on isolation to slow the spread of the disease. The sailors were initially held on their ships for 30 days, a Trentino, a period that was later increased to 40 days, or a quarantine, the origin of the term quarantine, and a practice still used today. The Black Death epidemic had run its course by the early 1350s, but the plague reappeared every few generations for centuries. Modern sanitation and public health practices have greatly mitigated the impact of the disease but have not eliminated it. While antibiotics are available to treat the Black Death, according to the World Health Organization, there are still 1,000 to 3,000 cases of plague every year.